Hey there, this is another quick one minute video for uh, MapInfo. Uh, all you MapInfo users out there, I'm in MapInfo 17, got the OSM, um, some sample buildings here. Uh, when I click on them with InfoTool, I get this information popping up. But as you can see in the table, I have uh, in the structure a hotlink path and a hotlink alias. So there's a path, so that's a full URL there, but it could be to a file on, this, on your system, on your network doesn't have to be a website uh, and then an alias so which um, is, is just to reference that actual path if you look in the hotlink options under map you can see this is where you define it so I've said if I define it from the start so I add a hotlink path so I got that highlighted there my alias is hotlink alias and I'm going to ask for the hotlink tool to work on an object. Uh, it could work on the label or both. I'm just going to say it's on an object. Uh, if I save options to the table metadata, it means what I set here gets stored in the tab file and therefore is recreated when you open the tab file again. You only have to do this once. So it'll work on your tab or in your workspace, of course, that uses that tab. Press OK. Change the map tool to hotlink and then click on any of my buildings. You see it has a little little link, uh, sort of chain link uh, icon change there on the hand. So I click and it loads up the URL which is our uh, 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 YouTube page. There's the map info playlist and there's ArcGIS and, uh, and various other ones. But there's map info. Thank you very much.